When's it time to replace your cables? Hmm. Allie, or Al, he probably doesn't like to be called Allie. Sorry, Al. Uh, in right up the road in Castle Rock, Colorado, wants to know. And Al writes, when do speaker and interconnect cables become too old and need replacing? I'm still using some very expensive transparent speaker and interconnect cables that are 35 years old. Although my audio equipment is constantly changing, I've never replaced the cables. Am I missing out on better sound using those old cables? Well, we just replaced all our cables, and you can see stacks of AudioQuest. Um, I've, I've recently, you know, just redone, redone, redid something. I don't know. I don't know what the proper English is. Uh, I think it's just redid. We have redone our um, sound room next door, music room too, with all AudioQuest stuff, and oh. Sounds great. So transparent cables are also great. So the simplest answer, Al, that I can give you is that from a age standpoint, they're not going to, it, uh, unlike capacitors, unlike, you know, um, uh, vacuum tubes, they don't really get old. Now, one could make the argument that dielectrics do change over time or they may become brittle with environment and that will affect the sound, but it's kind of unlikely. I'm going to say that from an age standpoint, a 35-year-old set of cables is more than likely going to be just as good as the day that you bought them, except for now they're very well broken in. I could stand to be corrected because again, I don't know the condition of those cables. You want to look and see, are they just as flexible? Do they have the, you know, the dielectric in them? The insulators, are they um, still up to par? But let's imagine that they are. What you are missing out on from a 35-year-old pair of transparents is that there have been a lot of improvements over the years to cable technology. 35 years ago, you know, Karen and... and um, and Jack Summer, Sumner, who owned Transparent, you know, they had broken away from MIT, Bruce Brisson, and they formed their own company and they designed their own stuff. And that was kind of at the beginning of their, their whole journey, right? So I'll, I don't know if they're still in business today, but I, I imagine that over all that time, they've made quite a few improvements. I know Bill Lowe, I didn't like AudioQuest cables. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, I wasn't a big fan of Bill Lowe's products. I just but he has learned and he has grown and these are some of the finest sounding cables I have ever heard. So, you know, if I had a pair of 20 year old audio quests and I'm comparing it to these audio quests, the answer is yeah, time to change. Okay. But not because they're old and dying and you just should change them because so yes, Definitely worth your while to find some different cables and experiment and see how has technology come up in the meantime? How have the designs changed? That's the kind of thing you want to be looking for, but not because of age. So hope that helps. All right. Good luck out there in Castle Rock. Talk to you later, Al. Bye.